said that animal I hate stuff. Another animal you do something? Yes. Do you need help? No, don't worry, don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it again. You'll be Mumu. You think that you're wise? You are a Mumu man! I know, I don't want that. Let me go and shoot my video. Okay, no, no, no. Hey there, tech heads. Welcome back to the. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. This video was brought to you by the Ben Shoes. Please make sure to check out their links in the description below. Hey there tech heads, welcome back to the channel and this is the first video I am making after surpassing 200 subscribers. I am so grateful to each and every one of you who watches my videos, each and every one of you who likes, subscribes and shares, like it really means a lot to me and here's to, you know, many more milestones to come. So today we're talking about why Samsung has gone crazy, my opinion kind of like a mini rant because I mean come on I don't know how many of you have seen this you know floating around the internet but apparently Samsung mobile is planning on you know bringing out a smartphone with a 600 megapixel camera this might not be a big deal to a lot of people but I feel like if you haven't seen my previous video on why megapixels are not that important to um, smartphone photography please make sure to you know check that out there will be a card like just click on the card and you will get directed to that video megapixels are not that important to smartphone photography why do they think we need a 600 megapixel smartphone camera if this was a DSLR wonderful if this was a freaking telescope awesome but on a smartphone really we have 108 megapixels on the S20 lineup and they are still not the best smartphone cameras on the market. The iPhone cameras are still better. Google's cameras are still better. Huawei's cameras are still arguably better. Samsung just keeps slipping and slipping between third and fourth amongst the top five smartphone cameras. And the problem is they don't seem to understand that it's not hardware that they're lacking in, it's software, image processing. If Samsung was able to work on their image processing, you know, try to tone down the whole overexposure, trying to turn down the whole washed out vibe that their pictures are, you know, giving out, then they would, you know, be able to produce much more appealing images in my opinion. Yes, most Samsung cameras are very decent. They turn out very amazing pictures, but they're still not the best out there. They still have a lot of work to do. They still have to work on their night mode, still have to work on their color science, a lot of work to do. And none of this is gonna be solved by a 600 megapixel camera. Am I making sense? Like, am I, am I, am I the only one who feels like this is totally unnecessary? Because not only is a 600 megapixel camera going to take much more time for your images to get processed, but it's going to take a lot more space. I kid you not, one 600 megapixel photo could take up to 500 megabytes on your phone. For one photo, one photo is taking up the space a movie can take on your phone. Just for what? So you can zoom in and see the pores on my face? I mean, come on, guys, Samsung, are you, are you playing right now? But you still have a lot of issues to sort out with your cameras. You brought out bigger sensors. They have autofocus issues. Like, come on. Hardware is not your problem. You need to work more on your software. And that's just speaking about the camera. One UI, I love One UI. I'm a, I'm a big One UI fan, but there is still so much that can be improved. There are so many other things Samsung can work on. Okay, so. This 600 megapixel sensor is not one of their, their current ongoing projects, so to say. It's more of a long-term goal. They're planning on, there are rumors that they're gonna release a 192 megapixel sensor, a 250 megapixel sensor first, but they all, they're all you know, going along the same lines that I've been you know, laying since the beginning of this video. They're not necessary. 12 megapixels is fine. 18 megapixels is fine 24 megapixels is fine 32 megapixels is fine for the love of god 
we don't really need that much detail quote unquote in our pictures because what we have right now is fine samsung please i beg of you let's work more on image processing work more on software hardware is not the answer but nevertheless what do i know i'm just a tiny tech youtuber who is trying to grow but these are just my opinions i mean like i said earlier just my opinions so yeah basically that's it honestly um like i said earlier this video was just to you know rant and address something atrocious i saw on the internet really hope samsung doesn't really dive into this whole 600 megapixel camera idea that they're trying to implement but nevertheless i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you like this video please make sure to smash that like button subscribe and turn on post notifications if you're new to the channel please make sure to check out our sponsors the ben shoes all the links are going to be in the description below Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.